वेलकम बैक नाउ वील बी डिस्कसिंग समथिंग अबाउट ग्रोथ एंड यील्ड नाउ देर आर डिफरेंट फैक्टर्स दैट अफेक्ट ग्रोथ एंड यील्ड ऑफ फॉरेस्ट और और ऑफ यू नो प्लान्टशन यू नो द फर्स्ट अमंग दैम इज द जेनेटिक्स सम स्पीशीज मे बी जेनेटिकली स्पीरियर एंड विल बी लाइक फास्ट ग्रोइंग कॉन्ट्रीब्यूटिंग Uh, you know fastly to the uh, accumulation of biomass and there are also the climatic factors which include temperature precipitation wind etc which affect the growth and yield of a species like high temperature um, uh, you know corresponds to high rate of growth and uh, the precipitation is if the precipitation is good it also uh, respond it is also responded by uh, good growth now uh, wind also contributes sometimes that in you know in the hilly areas where the wind is fast trees are very uh, stunted they don't grow to their uh, you know full potential like uh, likewise we have soil factors which include moisture ph uh, and other uh, you know physical and chemical properties like uh, maybe bark density maybe organic carbon Uh, carbon nitrogen ratio and 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 uh, you know ma- macro and other macro and micro uh, nutrients so uh, the adequate moisture always uh, uh, leads to uh, the you know optimum growth of the species and the, if the ph is uh, very high or very low it is going to affect the growth and yield of the species likewise we have topo- topography uh, which includes slope elevation and aspect these are the things which are going to matter and uh, contribute to growth and yield the slope in on the higher slopes usually the growth is um, not uh, so good as in the lower slopes uh, likewise in the higher elevations the growth is uh, not that much as in the uh, lower elevations and while while talking of aspect in the northern hemisphere southern aspects receive a good amount of insulation so the rate of growth may be uh, you know if corresponding to temperature may be uh, good but for the species which love shade uh, which are shade loving the same uh, principle may not um, be applied to them likewise we have competition uh, means the influence of other trees what are the different other trees uh, that are uh, you know growing in that area Um, this is also going to contribute to growth and yield of the species that you are interested in now if we uh, further uh, going to understanding the effect of altitude and latitude on the pattern of vegetation you can see this is the increasing latitude from this side to this side and how the vegetation is changing from tropical temperate taiga tundra and polar now how the forests are changing this is tropical forest then moving towards this is desert or grassland uh, further moving to incre- increasing latitude we have deciduous forest then further moving uh, towards the increasing latitude we have coniferous forest then low shrubs shrub growths mosses lichens and then ultimately snow and ice the same thing is followed when we go from lower altitude to all alt- uh, higher altitude you can see when we move from lower altitude to higher altitude we have you know tropical like conditions we have temperate like conditions in the mid of the latitude and uh, taiga like conditions uh, in the in the higher altitude and tundra like conditions and polar like conditions at the top so how the vegetation is going to change in that scenario we have desert or grassland here uh, you know we have normal vegetation at the uh, base like that is tropical and then we have uh, desert or grassland uh, at at l- little higher elevation and then we have deciduous forest at a little more elevation uh, then we have uh, coniferous forest at uh, no um, uh, another level of elevation then we have low shrubby growth and, and uh, before that we have a tree line above which no tree can be found beyond this point we only have low shrubby growths which is followed by permanent glaciers and ice and we have some something like polar conditions at the top so we have uh, there's a uh, you know fine correspondence uh, between the increasing latitude and the increasing altitude in terms of 
the climatic conditions and in terms of the vegetation pattern that can be seen now we uh, further would like to understand the effect of sunlight and steepness on vegetation of southern and northern slopes now you can see this is the southern slope in the northern hemisphere if we say the sun will be sun if the sun is here like it will be getting direct direct light penetration uh, more directly on the canopy but uh, on the this is the south, south facing slope of valley this is south facing and spread of sunshine this is the spread of sunshine on the ground it is you know directly uh, spread on the ground then now when we see north facing slope of the valley you can see the spread of sunshine on the ground is obliquely very oblique it's very oblique light penetration tree canopy very obliquely it's coming in an oblique in an oblique way and it doesn't cover the whole ground and the insulation amount of insulation received is very less so this is going to affect the vegetation because if uh, you have some species which uh, love sunlight those are uh, you know uh, going to uh, grow more robustly on the southern aspect rather than the northern rather than the northern aspect and uh, likewise uh, if if we have shade loving species they are going to uh, you know grow more comfortably in the northern aspect of the valley so that's all about uh, the factors affecting growth and yield i hope you understood uh, the lecture thank you